Uh, my name is Alex and I want to show you today Fuel. Fuel is the world's smallest cell phone charger. And the idea behind this is it's a battery backup charger. So when your phone is low on battery and you need to make some extra calls or send some emails to your boss or turn your GPS on to find out where you are, you just plug Fuel in, charge up your phone and you're ready to go. So as you can see, Fuel is absolutely tiny. It's a little over an inch high and half an inch wide. Compared to a quarter, it's going to sit very easily in your jeans pocket or on your keychain or sitting in your car. Now inside is a 220 milliamp hour battery, which is good for around 20 to 30 minutes of extra talk time or emails, depending on your phone and how you use it. Well, the housing is a pure die cast aluminum. That means it is incredibly strong, but still very lightweight. Uh, we had it painted, lacquered, and then we baked it to give this semi-gloss finish. The housing weighs around half an ounce. So it's very, very light. Uh, the majority of the space inside fuel is taken up by an energy-dense lithium-ion battery. Uh, the battery itself is a 5C battery rated at about 220 milliamp hours. Um, I think we mentioned before that it should give you about 20 to 30 minutes extra talk time or a few hours on standby, depending on what kind of phone you have and how you use it. The battery itself has an integrated PCM as a protection circuit management. Uh, and there's a battery management IC on the PCB, so the fuel microcharger is extra safe. The PCB itself is very tiny. We sourced extremely small, low-profile components to keep the volume inside fuel to an absolute minimum, uh, so, which allows us more space for a bigger battery inside fuel. Uh, however, it is a fully functioning PCB with regulated inputs and outputs controlled by micro USB ports and the head. We also use a flex PCB which is even smaller than a regular PCB to connect the micro USB mail to the main board. Again, we use that to cut down our internal space so we have more room for the biggest battery we can use. From the outside, you can see that there's three LEDs. These three LEDs will help to tell you if fuel is on, charging, or fully charging. There is a switch to turn fuel on and off, keeping the battery from needlessly discharging when not in use. There is a male micro USB on the spout end of fuel which will fit into any standard micro USB port. Micro USB port is not the standard for all phones beside iPhone. So Fuel should work with nearly every phone out there. Fuel has a rechargeable battery inside that is recharged via its female micro USB port that is at the bottom of the housing. Any standard micro USB cable you have at home can recharge Fuel and the battery inside is rated for a minimum of 500 cycles.